So, so far we've, we've showed just deploying a VM from the marketplace. And uh, you know, if I was watching this webinar, I'd say, okay, you know, that's great, that's useful, but uh, I've got my own custom images, right? I've got my own Red Hat subscriptions even, and how do I use all of that on this year, right? So not just deploying a VM, a few VMs, how do I roll out my production environments that I've got from on-premises and uh, you know, my existing images and all the rest of it. So let's try and dig into some of that. I know that's an expansive topic, right? Carl, that's what you and I speak, speak to customers a lot about, about different strategies to do this. Um, but we can probably scratch the surface of that topic today and, uh, and offer a few hints and tips, right? Absolutely, yes. So the first thing to talk about there then, uh, let's go talk about um, cloud access or Azure hybrid benefits, okay? So I'm not sure if I'll be able to show it directly from this machine. I think it's under here. So if I deployed a machine from the marketplace and kind of got access to it and set it up, that might be good you know, as I get started with that machine, but I might already have a license I've already used from on-premises, right? Or that were from existing machines, right, Carl? So I know there's an option here. It's currently grayed out because it's not enabled on my subscription, but this is where customers would be able to see Azure Hyper Benefit. Do you want to talk a little bit about that, Carl? Yes, James, thanks very much. So the AHB or AHUB, you might see this, uh, stands for Azure Hybrid Benefit or Azure Hybrid Use Benefit. And the purpose, the main thrust that people will think about it is that it's a discount. It's like, I already have my Red Hat subscriptions uh, on-premise. I don't want to pay for them on Azure. So you can actually use those uh, Red Hat subscriptions and attach them to your Azure machines. So there is a sort of a cost convenience here with this benefit. And like that, it's designed primarily for hybrid scenarios, which is you've got some deployments already on-premise or in another cloud, as well as Azure, which is what a lot of customers have. It's never really just one particular uh, uh, type of deployment. But the, most, the thing that a lot of people may not know, James, about the, the hybrid benefit that is that it's also um, a, a technical convenience as well. So, and there's a number of things unique to Microsoft and Red Hat to allow that hybrid benefit to happen. So it's not just about letting your Red Hat subscriptions float freely between um, on-premise and Azure. And incidentally, that is what happens. So you don't necessarily have to reboot your machines in Azure if you want to apply a subscription to it um, as well and leverage a reduced cost from doing that. Um, you can do it on mass for a batch of machines. Um, you know, there are a number of benefits that are different about the hybrid benefit that we have between Microsoft and Red Hat. And I guess enabling that here in the virtual machine will come after um, probably you allow that through the Red Hat Cloud Access uh, subscriptions. But if I, the, the main uh, point to make is that it's not necessarily just a commercial and a cost reduction convenience. There's a technical convenience to also setting this up and um, having a flexibility for your hybrid deployment. Definitely, definitely. And I think what we see all the time is in real world usage of, of Relanger, customers Customers' environments are messy, right? There's a mixture of pay-as-you-go. There's a mixture of um, one-year subscriptions. There's customers who want to purchase via Azure, and there's customers that already have got their own subscriptions from on-premises. But I think what we're saying here is we talked about the marketplace, but also bring your own subscription. Everything is kind of possible, right? There's there's everything possible. And also, I think shown here with Azure Hybrid Benefit, moving between those modalities is also possible too, right? So. I see this all the time, for example, when a project team spins up, you know, 10 machines on Azure to start off a new project, and then they realize, ah, oh, we've already got Red Hat subscriptions. Can we use those instead? So rather than having to redeploy VM like other cloud providers, Azure allows you to log in, uh, click a little button. There's a little tick box here, right, that's enabled, and you can convert those across to bring your own subscription without having to reinstall anything, without having to rebuild cloud images. That's a real time saver, right, and a real convenience, because... Get yeah, real environments are kind of messy, and you know, we allow that kind of free movement between between different ways of buying, right? Absolutely, James.